What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, King Cobra, back at you with another cooking video. And today, I'm going to show you how to make some awesome ice cream bread. I This particular ice cream bread recipe, you can use it any time of the year. But especially if you wanted to make something special for your girlfriend... On Valentine's Day, if you can't afford to spoil her more rotten than a corpse, that's a horrible way of putting it, but there you go. <laughs> no, but if you can't afford to go all out on your girlfriend on Valentine's Day, a homemade gift is always appreciated to some extent. So, yeah. I want to make some ice cream bread. Not sure how it's going to turn out when I'm done making it, but we'll throw some ingredients in. Throw something together, see what happens. I've already got the oven set for 420 degrees on preheat. And uh, I already got my mixing bowl washed and dried. So I'm gonna throw a couple of ingredients into a bowl, melt it, and then we'll add our dry ingredients after it's all melted. Yeah. And I'm gonna to try to show off the ingredients I'm using on Facebook Live as well, so that way people can see what's going into it. So I'm gonna set the camera here for just a second. I'm gonna tamp my tobacco out and save half that bowl of tobacco for after the baking process. All right, so I'll be right back. Get yourself a bowl just like that, YouTube and Facebook. We're gonna start off with our wet ingredients. The first thing you're gonna need for ice cream bread is of course some ice cream. And what I have here is Blue Bunny Cherry Chocolate Chunk. Okay, this is Blue Bunny Cherry Chocolate Chunk Ice Cream. Emphasis on why I said you can make this ice cream bread for your girlfriend on Valentine's Day because the ice cream itself is pink, like a Valentine's Day heart. Ah, Isn't that fucking adorable? Here's what the ice cream looks like. I've had this ice cream before, as you can see, half of it's gone. And I saved the other half for some ice cream bread. All this ice cream is going to be poured into this bowl right here. We're going to add a couple of other liquid ingredients to it. So I can mix all the ingredients live on Facebook and have it on YouTube as well. I mean, ice cream bread is so fucking easy to make. It's a nice little quick, convenient dessert. Amy, this looks like a lot of ice cream, but as soon as you melt it, it'll go down. All right. 
Oh, there's a little bit right there on the fork. Chef's privilege. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, that is some bomb ass fucking ice cream. You cannot go wrong with Blue Bunny Cherry Chocolate Chunk. That is pretty fucking delicious. All right, so we're gonna dispose of this empty container. I'll be right back. Guess what else we're gonna add to this ice cream bread recipe? We got cherry chocolate chunk ice cream. We're gonna add some fucking peanut butter to it. Why the fuck not, right? Mm. We got Jif creamy peanut butter. We're gonna just throw that on top of the fucking ice cream real quick like. A little bit of peanut butter to go with our chocolate. Throw a nice gob of that on there. There we go. Mmm. Yeah, that's good peanut butter. Hmm, do I want to add just a little bit of jelly to it? Yeah, just a little bit wouldn't hurt, but not too much. Normally I'd add mayonnaise to the peanut butter and jelly, but I don't feel like doing that with this ice cream bread. I think the mayonnaise would contradict that delicious cherry taste of the ice cream. So we're gonna skip the mayonnaise in this process. Just a little bit of jelly, not a whole lot, but just a little bit to mix in there when it melts. All right, now you see this mess right here of ice cream, peanut butter, and jelly? These are our wet ingredients. I'm gonna microwave it till it's all melted. And then you add, then I'll add my dry ingredients to it. So I'm gonna put the jelly away and yeah. So YouTube, I'm gonna microwave that for two minutes and 34 seconds. There should be enough to melt everything in that bowl to a liquidy state. And once that's done, then I can add the next two ingredients to this. And I'll take you in personal with the YouTube camera here. And uh, I'm putting it into a bread tin, that sort of thing and then toss in that biatch in the oven. This pan right here simple enough yeah 
want you to go check on that, uh, on that, um, on that bowl in the microwave, and it looks like it's melting nicely. Well, basically, YouTube, I'm going to microwave that ice cream and peanut butter and jelly until it's melted to a liquid consistency before I add my dry ingredients to it. And I'll mix all that up on Facebook. I'll mix the ingredients together on Facebook Live and as well as on YouTube here. And then when I'm done mixing it, then of course I'm gonna... I'll have to, um, yeah. And it won't take too long to mix and put this together. It's a really quick recipe, really fucking easy to throw together. Um, yeah. That's definitely melted enough, YouTube. I'm gonna mix that around real quick. That's pretty melted, yeah. The peanut butter's still kind of clumpy, but that's all right. Mix it around, hit it in the microwave again because I want this to be really liquidy. And uh, that peanut butter is still pretty clumpy. This is batter tasting so far. Hold on a second. Oh, fuck yeah. 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 Gonna hit that batter with another two minutes and 34 seconds in the microwave. Really wanna make sure that all the peanut butter and the ice cream is consistently melted into one solid liquid. Just before we add our dry ingredients, of course. And because I'm the one eating it, I get to lick the fork. Now the next ingredient I'm going to be adding to this ice cream bread is these um, chocolate chip muffin mix. Add a packet of that. Add a packet or two of that to the mixture, and then some self-raising flour. Mix it all together into a nice thick dough, and pour it into a pan and bake it. This way you're getting more chocolate chips to go with that peanut butter and yeah so this should be a tasty ice cream bread recipe video or yeah like I said, YouTube, the fucking batter tasted pretty good so far, so, yeah. I drank a shit ton of coffee earlier, so I'm a little wired up, and, um, yeah.
Let's take a look at this batter once more. And, um... Stir it up real good. Oh yeah, that's a nice liquidy consistency. Mmm, that smells good. All right, so I'm gonna set this right here in my lap on the chair here. And um, you know, scooch back a bit so Facebook can see as well. There we go. And let's start adding our dry ingredients. two of these packets to this. Just like that. Now we got the two packets in there, we're gonna fucking mix this shit around real quick. it off the sides and then mix this batter around and really get in there with your fork and you know what I'm saying Can't sit it on my leg like that, man. That bowl's fucking hot. Alright, so stir that up really good. All that chocolate and it's gonna melt into that hot batter. Put that peanut butter in the cherry. That's gonna look and smell really good when it's done. You can see the batter's nice and mixed up here. And get you in that close-up action. Okay, here's what the batter looks like so far. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is set this down right here for a second while I dispose of these things. Here's our final ingredients, YouTube, which is, of course, our self-raising flour. Um, where is, there it is. I'm gonna take our half cup, right here, our half cup measurement. I'll set the bag down on the chair. Open the bag up. There we go. This is a half cup. I'll do like one whole cup of self-raising. See what that does. That should be enough for a nice doughy consistency. Uh, I'm making a mess all over my computer chair. God damn it. I'm gonna mix that self-raising flour into, yeah, I'm spilling flour all over the fucking chair, but I'm doing it for y'all for a cooking video for YouTube, so that's okay. The self-raising flour is pretty easy to clean off on the chair. Just gonna mix all that self-raising flour into the bowl same process as before 
Trying to get as much of it off the sides as humanly possible. Stir it and stir it good. <clears throat> and right off the bat, just stirring this self-raising flour into the mixture, I can definitely tell it's got a nice, thick, doughy consistency. This batter is really thick, really doughy. This is what I'm looking for. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Stir that shit around. Stir it up real good. Yeah. After incorporating all that self-raising flour into there, here, I'm gonna show you what this shit looks like on the YouTube camera as well. After incorporating all that self-raising flour, into the mixture, we are ready to go. So what I wanted to do is I'm gonna put the flour up real quick. Now we're going to take our bread pan, some cooking spray. And a little bit of cooking spray will help prevent it from sticking to your pan, just like that. All right, set that right there. So now, Tilt the camera down, go back with my coffee cup and tilt the camera down on YouTube just a little bit more. There we go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bread tin and we're gonna take our batter. And I'll scoop all of this batter out of the bowl into the bread tin. Get as much of that batter out as you can. Don't want to waste it. Scoop it in there. Real good. Okay, just warm a little, little chunk there. All right. All right. We got all the batter out of that bowl. Put the bowl in the sink. Now we're gonna take all that bread batter we just put in there. I'm gonna take our fork and we're gonna spread it around. Spread this out as evenly as you can. Just kind of take your fork and mold it to the side just like clay. Spread out your batter, push it down. Push that shit down. Okay, now that you've got your batter mixed up, it's pushed to the sides. Fucking pack that shit, you two. Pack that shit like you pack a cigarette. You know what I'm saying? Push all that shit in there. Booyah. 
very nice. Oh my fucking god. That ice cream bread batter is tasting amazing. Got it packed in there nice and neat. Just like that, so that's beautiful. Put that shit in the oven. Got all this flour on my damn chair. Man, that just don't look right, do it? All this white stuff on my chair. Like, you've been snorting cocaine again? Fuck off. <sighs> nah, but we'll put that, we'll put that, that ice cream bread in the oven for about 34 minutes or so. Wanna watch it so it doesn't burn. Give it about 34 minutes or so. And um, yeah. And now we wait patiently, YouTube. Now we wait patiently. And this is a recipe that's pretty easy to make. It works with any flavor of ice cream you want. You don't have to add the muffin mix to it. But I did that strictly for the chocolate chips in that mix. So, yeah. See, see what it looks like when it's all said and done. And most of that I mixed in front of Facebook Live so that they could see what ingredients go into it. I did most of that in front of the camera for both YouTube and Facebook, so that way both platforms hopefully got a good view of that cooking. And now I wait. Now I sip my coffee and I wait. Grab the ashtray right here and prop the camera up on that. Hmm. Oh, if it's cherry ice cream being baked into a bread, I imagine it'll make the air around my apartment smell really good. <clears throat> no telling how this ice cream bread will turn out but I had this idea for a cooking video for the last couple of days and I'm like, well, let's throw it together and see how it turns out. And like I said, this is definitely an, a homemade Valentine's Day gift. It's just an idea, you don't have to do it, you know. But if you got a girlfriend and you can't afford to like, spoil her you know a homemade gift like a homemade baked good you know what I'm saying some chicks are into that sentimental crap so yeah even if you can't show her how much you love her with expensive diamonds and what have you a homemade baked good like this awesome recipe that I just concocted is the next best thing you know what I'm saying like Oh yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. And you definitely wanna put the cooking spray 
on your pan before you put the batter in there. So that way when it bakes, it won't stick to the pan when you try to take it out. Just while I wait for that bread to get done baking, smoke on some of the only tobacco I got to my name at the moment. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Had a couple of cigarette butts chilling out in my ashtray. And I took the cigarette butts from my ashtray and went like this. Took a little tobacco out of the butts and broke it up into my pipe. That's a great way to make sure all your cigarette butts are put out in your ashtray and you're not wasting tobacco. That's literally killing two birds with one stone. So that way when you go to empty your ashtray of all the cigarette butts into the trash can, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Alright, pour that in the trash, push the trash down. Pipe back in the ashtray. Right. I keep my ashtrays empty on the regular YouTube. I don't let that shit build up. Because if you let your ashtrays get full, it can stink up your it can stink up your apartment real bad if you let your ashtrays get full. And that doesn't look good on you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Oh right when I walked in there it said 29 minutes to go. So I might put it in for a little bit longer depending on how it looks. Basically, you wanna bake it, bake your ice cream bread until it comes out fork clean. If you can stick a fork in it and pull the fork out and the fork's clean, you're good to go. Take that shit out of the oven, let it cool off, stick it on some tin foil, cut it up and serve it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of, doing a, instead of doing a part two, part one type deal, we'll just record this cooking video all the way through till the end, and yeah. But, um, I'll probably give it another like 10, 20 minutes to cool off a bit before I eat it. I'll go take a peek at it in the oven real quick. Let's see. Twenty six minutes to go, and that it's looking good.
Well, the bread looks and smells good. Um, I got some tin foil laid out on the table so that way when it comes out of the oven, I can transfer it to some tin foil and we can get a close up look at it on the YouTube camera at least and cut off a slice for uh, Facebook Live and YouTube and eat it and you know. <clears throat> hmm. Killing time while I bust a rhyme for a nickel and a dime. Haters acting sour cause they sucked on a lemon but they should have sucked on a lime. Four minutes to go. I kind of like this concept of doing a Facebook live video while I do a cooking video for YouTube so that way people on Facebook can see what I'm cooking before it hits fucking YouTube. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of that's the kind of shit that you that uh, YouTube celebrities do to get their fans psyched. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know. God damn it, I've been Facebook streaming for fucking two hours. Where does the time go? Ugh. But yeah, YouTube, that ice cream bread is smelling all kinds of good right about, right about now. Mm. It definitely smells like I can smell the cherry in the ice cream. That smells really good. Crazy ass ice cream bread. Watch out. Set the camera back down. All right. You're definitely going to want to use oven mitts to take that pan out of the oven. That's just common to fucking sense. If you're not using oven mitts to take that pan out of the oven, then you're stupid. And you're asking to get burned. And if you make a delicious ice cream bread, there's no sense in burning your hands while doing it, is there? No, not really. Not really, YouTube. being out of tobacco but I'm out of tobacco it is what it is you know do like I do like I always do make the best of it sometimes in life YouTube and Facebook that's all you can do is when you're in a shitty situation in life is make the best of it that's just real talk right there god damn it that ice cream bread smells good
Just 19 seconds to go, and that bread is looking fresh. YouTube looking fresh. It smells good. It smells real good. If you're just joining me on Facebook Live, I'm doing a cooking video for YouTube as we speak. I have my phone propped up against one of my ashtrays and uh, waiting here, wait, waiting here for the ice cream bread to get done baking and. It's looking and smelling real good. So hopefully 34 minutes is enough to um, bake it. When it gets to about 10 minutes, uh, when it gets to about 10 minutes, I'll go and check it with a fork. I've never actually had this flavor of ice cream bread before YouTube, but I can tell you this, the smell of that ice cream bread is making my mouth water. <laughs> mm. And uh, here's the thing, YouTube, if you're single on Valentine's Day, don't trip out about it. I hate to be that guy, but guess what? We all die alone in the end anyways, so even if you don't find somebody to spend the rest of your life with, it's kind of irrelevant. It doesn't change the physical outcome. So if you're single on Valentine's Day, feel sorry for the schmucks who are broke because... They spend all their money on their girlfriend, and it's not good enough. Feel sorry for the schmucks who are stuck in a relationship like that. Where they try and they try and they try to do everything they can to make their significant other happy, and it's not good enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, pfft. And this is what I don't get. Why should it fucking matter? Why should Valentine's Day even be a thing? Especially if you have a girlfriend that you love and cherish and care about. And you do everything in your power to make her happy. Every other 364 days of the year. So why should it make any difference that one day where you have to go, where you literally have to go above and beyond. Above and beyond what you normally do to make your girlfriend happy. So really, you know, you set yourself up for that when you think about it, because you got to go the extra mile on Valentine's Day just to make her happy, just so she can be in her little social circle of people and brag to all her female friends about how awesome you are. Every chick wants that. Don't bullshit me. Every chick wants to make her so-called friends feel jealous of her. You know, oh, you're not going to believe what so-and-so did for me. It was so awesome, blah, 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 blah. No, I wish 
my hubby treated me like that, blah, 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 blah. Other guys in that relationship status bullshit are going to be like, that motherfucker and his relationship over there. God damn it. Now I got to step up my game. So a lot of guys hate that when girls come home. Oh, you're not going to believe what Cheryl's boyfriend did for her. Now the, now the guy in that situation is going, God damn it. Fucking Cheryl's boyfriend's a douche. Now I gotta step up my game. I can't compete with that shit. I don't have Cheryl's boyfriend's money. Fuck. That's exactly how that shit goes. Check this out. I went to go check on the bread at about 14 minutes to go. And it was starting to smell cooked. I poked my fork in it. It came out clean. So this bread is done. Look at that, Facebook. And, of course, YouTube. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's get this situated. I'm going to take a fork and go around the outside. Here, let's get in close with the camera here. Try not to drop the camera if I can help it. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this fork. I'm going to go around. The outside of it. Just like that. I'll set the camera down once more. So I can do this real quick. God damn it. Try not to drop the camera here. Sorry about that. Well, it didn't come out in one even piece, but I managed to get it out out of the tin. Oh, blah. It didn't come out in one even piece, YouTube, but I managed to get it out of the uh, baking container and onto some tin foil. And here's what we are left with. Uh, so much for getting a nice, even uniform 
lift out of the tin. Like literally, as soon as I tried to lift it out of the tin and flip it over onto the tin foil, it literally split diagonally down the middle and it came out in chunks. Oh well, get a piece of it right here. That I just, God damn it. No, that's going in the garbage. We lost, we lost a little chunk of it, but here's what it looks like. Pretty straightforward. God damn it. I'm trying not to drop chunks on the ground here. Put that in the ashtray. All right, so here's what the ice cream bread looks like. Let's have a taste of it. Ah, fuck. It's a little bit crumbly, but hold on a second. Hot. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, YouTube, the flavor on that's pretty good, actually. Not half bad at all. Other than, other than it's not coming out of the pan nice and uniform, that recipe came together quite nicely. Well, until then, this is uh, King Cobra JFS with another cooking video, making some ice cream bread. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you cool cobras on the flip side.